Welcome back to another Rob Guys Garage. Today I've got an 08 Envoy that someone brought to me that failed the emissions test. I think it needs an oxygen sensor. So let's see why it failed the test. So we have a reject. So let's see what the paper says of why it failed. System monitors. We have one not ready there, evaporative system. One not ready there for oxygen sensor. Now that does not mean this car needs an oxygen sensor. What this is, is monitors that run as you drive your car. There's tests going on in your car that you don't even know about as you're going down the road. So this has to be driven in order to be fixed. We don't have to add any parts to this. So let's have the scanner plugged in. down to a domestic General Motors truck 2006 and newer okay we did that special tests readiness tests not all supported onboard readiness tests are complete, which is exactly what the paper says here. So what this means is that we have to drive this car. So what happens is as you're going down the road, the car is doing all kinds of tests that you don't even know about that it has to see certain requirements for the computer and the emission system to be able to run the t certain tests that it has, these readiness tests, and you can't tell that they're being run. You don't know when they're done unless you have a scanner or some way to hook up to it to see when they're done. So I've actually run this car for about an hour before this, and if we look at which tests are not complete yet, it will tell us. Okay, so it misfires okay, fuel system, component, evaporative, scroll down to oxygen sensor test did clear itself just by driving the car. So now we're at a half a tank of gas, so we we'll have to drive this thing for the evaporative emissions test to run. So. I'm going to drive it for another hour or two and keep checking it and then I'll let you know when it's when the test is done. Okay, so I found this that says how to make this monitor test complete. There has to be no trouble codes. Fuel tank between a quarter and three quarters of a tank full. Drive for five minutes at steady speed between 30 and 60 miles an hour. Stop the vehicle, idle the engine for four minutes. Turn off the key, turn off the engine, remove the key. The ECU, the computer, will run the EVAT monitor once the engine has been shut down and the ignition turned off. So that's what we need to try, but up here earlier it says that the EVAT monitor is the only one that doesn't need to be set for the vehicle to pass the emissions test so we're going to try this and see if it works i went through this evat monitor test twice and it didn't work but i did run it through the emissions test got a pass 
because the oxygen sensor monitor did pass. So apparently the website was right where you don't have to have the EVAP system ready. So this information was found at, I taped in 08 Envoy EVAP monitor system. Went down to smog tips. Went to the smog tips website and they did have a nice explanation on how these monitor tests work and what you need to do to pass each test what the computer is looking for. So the reason they do these tests in the first place is you can't have a check engine light on when you go in for an emissions test. So what people were doing was they had a check engine light on, they would go to the emissions test place, go about a block away, unhook the battery, hook it back up, and that would clear the check engine light for a minute or two and they would pass the test. So what has happened now is if you unhook the battery there's about 10 to 12 tests that are running that you don't even know about that have to be completed and it can take anywhere from a day to a week maybe two weeks to, until all of these tests run and all the requirements are meant for the computer before you can get your emissions test to pass. So unhooking the battery will not work. So just wanted to give you guys this information. Fix this one for free. No parts required. See you all in the next one.